Hi, this is Michelle from Soul Space. This video is funded by the HSE through the Leitrim Development Company. And today we're going to work on balancing poses. Balancing really helps to clear the mind. When you're trying to keep your balance, there's no way you can think of anything else. So it's a really good practice when you're feeling distracted, uh, when you can't get something out of your head and it's annoying you, that's the perfect time to work on your balancing poses. So I've got a chair in the studio with me today. You can lean on any bit of furniture or against the wall. And if we can lift away from that, fair play to us. First, we've got a little warm up. So sitting in a chair, just like I am, sitting back into the chair, we're just gonna warm up the body. So sitting back as far as you can, hopefully you can plant your feet on the ground. If you're up off the floor, then try to put something underneath so that you can touch your feet onto something just so you feel stable. We're gonna have our hands on our laps. We're gonna slide them down towards the floor. If you can touch the floor, great. If you don't get there, that's fine. So we're reaching down as far as we can, then we're reaching forward and up towards the sky. Inhaling up, exhaling, opening up the arms and bringing them down to the side. You can slide them back onto your lap. We're doing it again. Slide it down, down, down. Reach forward and up. Exhale, expand and open up the arms and then bring them back to the lap. Sliding down. Inhale up. Exhale the arms out wide and then back to the lap, sliding down. Reaching forward and up, arch against the chair if you can, letting the chair give your back a stretch. Arms out wide and slide it forward one last time, reach, reach, reach. Up, 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 and open the arms. Okay, that helped to get us warmed up a little bit. Um, from the chair, there are a few other things that we can do. So just sitting forward in the chair like this, we can bring our left hand to the right knee and slightly twist to the side. So if your chair is like mine, you might even be able to get your arm or your elbow around the back of the chair. If not, it doesn't matter, you can reach back and do that. You can reach back and hold, you know, touch on to something that's behind you, or you can just have your hand to your side. So we're going to push the left hand into the right knee. We're going to look behind our right shoulder. So we're looking behind us, looking behind us, and then release. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So my right hand is coming to the outside of my left knee. I'm reaching this arm behind me. I can grab onto the chair if I am able and look behind me. Breathe in and out, twisting through the belly and the back. One more breath and release it to the front. From here, just sitting, looking forward, drop the chin down to the chest and over to the shoulder, circling up. Bring the chin over towards the left shoulder and circle it down again. So just doing that a few times, circling the neck. Up and around. And when you're down, your head is down the next time, reverse direction, go the other way. Circle, 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 and gently shake it out. So, we're going to stand up and we're going to put our right foot on our chair. So again, you don't want a chair on wheels or anything. You want a chair that's going to stay solid. We don't want it rolling away. And we want to be able to see if we can put our foot up onto the chair. So that's the first thing we're going to do. I'm facing my chair here and then see if you can reach the back of the chair. Standing upright, pull the shoulders back, and then reach forward. Up, and reach forward. 
Now see if you can pull yourself back. Pulling back. Pulling back. And standing back upright. Bring your hands onto your waist, hands at the hips. And let's see if we can lift the foot off the chair. So we'll see if we can do a little tap. So lift and tap, 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 tap. We're strengthening this thigh. We're gonna do the same on the other side, bringing the foot onto the chair, reaching forward and back, forward, Come to standing, forward, stretch it back, and up we go. Hands on the hips. See if we can lift the foot up. Up, tap, 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 and release. Okay, now, now we're going to try putting the heel of the foot on the chair. The heel is down and the toes are up. Hands on the hips again. See, can we lift it up? Up, 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 up. Try the other side. Waking up those leg muscles. Get the heel up onto the chair. Hands are at the hips. Up, 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 up. Okay. Now, Let's see what we can do without putting the foot up, but we can hold the chair if we like, or again, if you can touch a wall or touch any other piece of furniture. So I'm standing, I can hold on here. We're gonna try to bring the right knee in front of us. So I'll turn sideways so you can see. I'm trying to bring my right knee up and just hold, hold myself upright there. So you can be holding on to your chair if you like. Hold on to your chair, bring the knee up, and you can see if you can let go. We can bring the arms up if we are able. Up, 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 up. Now you might feel that you're working both legs. You are, let's try the other side. Step it out if you want first. And then you can hold on to be nice and secure. Bend the left knee so it's up in front, it's level with the hip, so it's flat as if you could balance something on it. And then let's test if we can let go. Inhale up, exhale down. Feel your support, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, we're like a bird flying. And last one. Release it down. Now, if you really want to test yourself, see if you can keep something balancing on your leg while you do this. So I have a, just a book here. I'm going to put that on top of my knee, and I'm going to do the same thing again. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Up, down, up down well done let's try it on the other side are you putting something on top of your leg find something it can be a little toy it can be any any object not breakable don't put any glassware on top of your leg but something something plastic something that's not going to break if it falls down get it up there and then inhale up exhale down inhale up Exhale down. This keeps us from cheating. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more up and down. Now, whew, shake out those legs. You can shake everything out. We can, we can get rid of that stuff. Now we're going to try a different one. So oftentimes you'll see and hear about tree pose. It is a balancing posture that we do all the time in yoga. And we think about our foot, our standing foot, rooting down into the ground as if it's actually sinking into the ground. And then the arms are raised up like the branches of a tree. So we're just imitating nature here. 
um, but trees we don't see standing on one leg. So I'm going to stand on my left leg first. I'm opening my right knee out to the side, okay? Options here. Now, if you've got a chair or something to touch, don't take the simplest option, which is just leaning your heel against your ankle because you have the advantage of being at home where you can touch something to give you support. So either try to bring the heel onto the calf muscle or bring the foot into the inner thigh. You really have to jam the heel in and you can use your chair to rest your knee against and to hold on to. So it really helps stabilize the body. Okay, the main thing you don't want to do is put this foot on top of your knee. If you do that, you're going to hurt your knee and that's not going to, there's not going to be any benefit to it. So you can have this knee leaning against the chair or the wall and then you can also hold on if you want. But if, if the chair is there, I'm not going to fall over because it will stop me. So though, that's the leg position. I'm grasping onto the floor with my foot and then I'm going to bring my hands. Options are to bring them here to the chest. I like to grow up towards the sky, spread my arms out. Some people like them overhead. So find your tree pose. Spread the fingers out. If you've got them up like this, spread the arms out. Think about being zipped up here. Think about some strings pulling you up towards the sky and then open up those arms. Pull the belly in so everything is nice and strong. And you'll notice if you're leaning against the chair with the knee or you're not. Push into the standing foot and reach up through the arms. We're gonna try to take three more breaths here. Breathing in, breathing out. In, through the nose, both ways if you can. One more breath. Then release the arms, release that leg, and step it out. Whew, it's tiring being a tree. We're gonna do the same thing now on the other side. So again, if you have a chair, great. If you can do this against the wall, that's perfect. Uh, if the couch, any kind of furniture at all that you can use as a support. So I'm standing now firmly on my right leg. I'm gonna bend my left knee out to the side. So it can be like this, it can be like this, or it can be into the inner thigh. Okay, then I could adjust my, ch my chair if I want so that I'm not gonna fall over. The chair will stop me. Stand up nice and tall on the standing leg. See if you can ease yourself away from the chair. Again, you can always touch it if you need to for the confidence. And then bringing the hands to center. We can bring them up, out. You might wobble around. You can lean a little bit heavier into that knee if you want. Reach up through the sky, up through the chest, up through the arms, pull the shoulders back and down if you can. Smile, don't be so serious. Remember, this is me time. This is just to distract you from the rest of the world, to give your body some attention, to slow down the breath, to calm your mind. That's all we're doing. In the meantime, we're getting stronger arms and legs and we're releasing tension in our back and our neck. So it is all good. Exhale the arms down and release that. Okay. The next one we're going to do um, with the kids, we call it airplane. So it's similar to something you might see kids doing or you might have done yourself as a child. We'll have the chair there as an aid if we need it. So I'll demonstrate first what I'm looking for. I start with my hands on my hips and I hinge forward. I'm trying to find that flat back so I'm not sinking down like this and I'm not way up like this. I'm coming to a flat back, okay? 
and I'm looking downward. It can be kind of forward and down, but watch me first so you know what we're talking about. So I'm flat backed, and then I'm going to step one foot back and lift it off the ground. At that point, I can reach my arms out like an airplane. Okay, so that's step one. Step two is to basically do the same thing, but I'm gonna bring my arms forward. And we have a tendency to kind of drop down, drop our chest down when we do that. So if I do the same thing, but I bring my arms forward, we don't wanna tilt down like this. So you can put your fingertips or your hands, you can even hold on if you wanna feel more secure to the chair. Reach through that back leg, really stretching the leg and really pushing up. So we're getting a good stretch here. And we're using the chair for support. Come out of that. And if you wanna try it without the chair, just have the chair there and reach, but don't lean into it from the start. So one more time, I'm gonna fold forward. I'm gonna keep doing the same leg. I'm standing on my right leg. I'm kicking the left leg out. Bringing the arms forward. There's my chair, but I don't have to touch it. Reach through the back leg. Reach, 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 reach. And then release. Okay, and we'll do that again. So hands on the hips. Feet are hip distance apart, planted into the floor. We're gonna fold forward to flat back. Shift your weight into your standing leg and tiptoe that one back. You can reach the arms out like an airplane. You can stay like that if you like. Or you can bring the arms forward to your chair. You can reach off the chair. Lengthen through that back leg. Reach through the hands and the arms. Pull the belly in. Eyes on the floor, reach, 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 reach. One more breath, keep going, stretch through that foot. And then, whew, and exhale down. Now we're gonna do one last balancing uh, position, but it's on the floor. We're gonna sit down so we don't need the chair anymore. So go ahead and take a seat. Okay, so we're gonna sit on the floor. We're gonna bring our two feet together. So soles of the feet are together. You can wobble, wobble around a little bit. And you can hold on to the ankle or you can hold on to the toes. And we want to be able to lift and rock on the floor a little bit. And then we want to be able to bounce the knees up and down a little bit like a butterfly. So just loosening up and we want to try to sit up nice and straight. Now this one, <coughs> now this one is a little bit more awkward. So we're going to hold our fingers like this, like a little water pistol, and we're going to bring the two fingers between the big toe and the second toe and wrap the thumb around. So I don't know if you can see, but I'm holding my foot, holding my big toe with my two fingers and my thumb. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do here is from this position, we're just gonna lift our feet off the ground. So I'm balancing on my bum, my feet are up. I can wobble, wobble them around if I want. Um, but that's not really our intention. We're just finding our balance here. So pull your belly in, pull your shoulders down. You're getting your body nice and solid, finding your center of gravity. Then we're going to try to reach the right leg out. So both feet, both legs are off the ground, but this right leg is extended. Breathing in, breathing out, and swap sides. Reach out with this one. Pull the belly in. Lift through the chest. Try to lengthen that leg out. And then back down. Now finally, I'm going to turn sideways, but I'm going to stay in that position. 
So finally, we're going to try and see if we can bring our feet forward. Okay, so I'm bringing my knees in towards, I'm lifting up uh, my feet, and I'm trying to straighten my legs. Now, yours might be quite bent. That's perfect. So the knees can be bent or you can try to straighten them. Just holding those feet in front of you, using that toe hold. We're balancing here. Now you could try to let go of the toes and see if you can hold that balance. Or you get the toes and hold. You might feel a little bit wobbly. That's all right. Squeezing the belly in, pulling the shoulders down. One more breath and slowly, slowly bring it back down. Bounce them again, doing the same thing we did to start. Wobble, wobble, wobble. And then just coming to sitting comfortably cross-legged. We're just going to take a few nice deep breaths. We're going to close our eyes and just settle into the moment. So as you close your eyes, notice any color or light that is making it through the closed eyelids. Do you see any shadow? Do you see any pattern? What do you see through your closed eyes? Just notice it. Take a nice deep breath in. Notice any scent, any smell around your space. Maybe there's the smell of food. I have the smell of incense here, maybe candles, maybe perfume, shampoos. Just notice any smell. Try not to judge it as good or bad. Just noticing the smells around you. Swallow, bring your attention to the inside of your mouth and notice any taste in your mouth. Notice any sensation in the mouth. Does your mouth feel warm or cool? Does it feel wet or dry? Notice the sensation of the mouth and any taste there. Then notice the texture, the feeling beneath your fingertips. Can you feel the texture of your clothing, your skin, cushion, blanket? Can you feel any sensation on the surface of any bare skin? Air is on my arms. Cool air is gently moving across my arms, across my face. I can feel that cool sensation of the air. And I can feel the texture of my leggings beneath my fingertips as my hands rest on my knees. I can feel a few strands of hair against my cheek. What can you feel? Just sitting in stillness, noticing sensations on the skin, sounds, tastes, what you see through your closed eyes, now finally noticing the breath. We're going to breathe in through the nose and notice the temperature of the air. Pull the air in and feel likely the coolness of the air. As you exhale, feel how that air has turned to breath and now it's warm. Inhale the cool air. Exhale the warm breath. This is true whether we breathe out through the nose or the mouth. You could put your hand in front of your nose or your mouth and feel the warmth. Softening through the muscles of the face, softening through the eyelids, softening through the muscles of the mouth, the neck, softening through the chest and the belly, just softening and relaxing the body now. And when you're ready, bring to mind 
two things you can be thankful for today, in addition to your breath and the ease of the breath through your body, name two things to yourself that you're thankful for today. And then just remember to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Feel that thankfulness in your heart. Feel that your body is calmer and more relaxed. And I thank you for joining me again. Hope to see you next time.